The world's oceans are one of the least explored places on the planet Earth, yet they cover more than 70% of its surface. In fact, we know more about the surface of the moon than we do the bottom of the sea. And due to pollution, ocean acidification, climate change, all those unexplored expanses, they house untold numbers of species, but they're all threatened, if not already destroyed. This is particularly concerning when you learn that the venoms and compounds produced by sea animals can often be purposed as medicines to treat horrible diseases that affect us all. Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and this video is all about using sea anemone venom to treat various types of cancer. And it's true, sea anemones in particular have been showing a lot of promise in treating cancer. Now, of course, you can't just rub a sea anemone on your cancer and then have it be gone overnight. It's very early. But with time, these compounds can be developed into chemotherapy drugs. And that's why it's worth protecting the environment. We don't know what we don't know. So, why sea anemones? Well, cnidaria, that's the phylum that contains all of coral, jellyfish, anemones, things like that, is characterized by everything having a certain type of cell, the nematocyte. This is the cell in our coral in anemones in all cnidaria that houses the nematocyst. That's the explosive dart that shoots out upon contact and that injects venom into whatever it can then embed itself in. That's what makes anemones sticky. That's why jellyfish tentacles stick to you. And they're the distinguishing feature of all members of the phylum cnidaria. Now, of all the cnidaria that we've so far studied, sea anemone nematocysts have the most interesting venom. For some reason, it's much more stable than the venom of our corals or that of jellyfish, and this stability makes it interesting as a potential source of drugs. It doesn't decompose quickly, and that means the resulting drugs have a longer shelf life. Now, if you needed to have a tank full of live jellyfish in your hospital room for treatment, well, it might be relaxing and nice to look at, but that drug's not going to be a realistic one that you could actually use. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death. In 2020, over 600,000 people will die of cancer in the United States alone. Chemotherapy drugs like doxorubicin and vincristine were for discovered in nature, in periwinkles and bacteria, yet they have extensive side effects and we're all aware of those. Finding new drugs might lead us to chemotherapy drugs that work better with fewer side effects, and sea anemone venom is already showing lots of promise in the lab. Some species, like Heteractus malu, produce venom that's active against breast cancer. Others, like Bundipopus globifera, are being studied for use in lung cancer. And in fact, there's more than 32 different species of sea anemone being investigated for anti-cancer drugs around the world today. Imagine what we don't know about yet, waiting just under the waves of your closest beach. Even anemones that we commonly keep in our tanks, like Heteractus magnifica, have venom that is useful for chemo drugs. Of course, all this research takes time. Lots of chemicals will kill things in a trial. The trick is figuring out a way to keep you alive while keeping the cancer inside of you dead. Since those studies take so long, it's important to keep the wild reservoir of all these species available. It's important to protect our natural resources so that we have them to study for things like this in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a really huge issue, of course, and of course, none of us can solve these sorts of things alone. Together, we can make a difference, and it's never been a better time to start making a difference than it is right now. Think about the environment around you. Yeah, I get it. This video, my channel, it's all about reefs, coral reefs, that kind of stuff. But these sorts of compounds come from plants and rainforests and things like that. And sometimes the plants that you might have growing in your neighborhood forest. We don't know what we don't know. So it's important to protect at least some part of the world so that we can have it to study for things like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.